The moving finger writes, and having writ moves on, nor all thy piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all thy tears wash out a word of it. For in the marketplace one dusk of day I watched the potter thumping his wet clay, and with its all obliterated tongue it murmured, Gently, brother, gently, pray. Then to the earthen bowl did I adjourn my lip this secret well of life to learn, and lip to lip it murmured, While you live, drink, for once dead you never shall return. Listen again. One evening at the close of Ramadan, ere the better moon arose, in that old potter's shop I stood alone with the clay population round in rows, and strange to tell among the earthen lot, some could articulate while others not. And suddenly one more impatient cried, Who is the potter? Pray, and who the pot? Then said another, Surely not in vain, my substance from the common earth was tain, that he who subtly wrought me into shape should stamp me back to common earth again. Another said, Why ne'er a peevish boy would break the ball from which he drank in joy, shall he that made the vessel in pure love and fancy in an after rage destroy? None answered this, but after silence spake a vessel of more ungainly make. They sneered me for leaning all awry. What? Did the hand of the potter shake? Then said another, with a long-drawn sigh, My clay with long oblivion is gone dry, but fill me with the old familiar juice, methinks I might recover by and by. So while the vessels one by one were speaking, one spied the little crescent all were seeking, and then they jogged each other. Brother, brother, she comes to drink, so give her greetings. Indeed, the idols I have loved so long have done my credit in man's eye. Much wrong <laughs> have drowned my honour in shallow cup and sold my reputation for a song. <laughs> Myself, when young, did eagerly frequent doctor and saint, and heard my argument about it and about but evermore him out the same door as in I went. But then the seed of wisdom did I sow, and with my own hand laboured it to grow, and this was all the harvest that I reaped. I came like water, and like wind I go. And then to the rolling heaven itself I cried, asking what lamp had destiny to guide her stumbling children in the dark. And a blind understanding, heaven replied. And lately through the tavern door agape came stealing through the dusk an angel shape bearing a vessel on his shoulder, and he bid me taste of it. And twas the grape. And much as wine has played the infidel, and robbed me of my robe of honour, well, I often wonder what the vintners buy one half so precious as the goods they sell. Indeed, indeed, repentance oft before I swore, but was I sober when I swore? And then, and then came spring, and rose in hand, my threadbare penitence of pieces tore. Ah, love, could you and I with faith conspire to grasp this sorry scheme of things entire? Would not we shatter it to bits? And then we mould it nearer to the heart's desire. <laughs> <laughs>